guys, so this is just a makeup tutorial that's going to show you how to look very fresh without wearing too much makeup or looking like you've caked it on. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so I always do this. I always start putting on makeup before I start filming, which is so silly. It was barely anything, but basically I just put sunscreen on my face. Um, so always start off with sunscreen, especially in the summer. Um, you can use a tinted moisturizer. This is uh, CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers and this has SPF 15. Um, so that's great, but I prefer, um, I'm not going to be using a foundation or a tinted moisturizer because my skin's been really clear, and in the summer I just feel like less is more, um, and with a natural look like this, you know, we're trying to go for as little makeup and as natural as possible, but I did start out with a face sunscreen, and this is the Aveeno sunscreen, it has SPF 30, which is really good, um, and it's nice because I just put this on all over my face, um, I just, you know, dotted it on and then rubbed it in with my hands, and I don't look shiny. Like, I mean, there's a little bit on my cheeks, but it's kind of a healthy glow, and I kind of like it. Now I just take my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is my all-time favorite concealer. I'm in NW25, and I'm just going to take this and take a pump on the back of my hand. Ooh. That much, and that's like, it's a little too much for my entire, like, for everything I'm doing, but hey, you make it work. And I'm taking uh, the Sigma, oh, I just got makeup on it. Sigma Large Concealer F65 brush, and it just looks like this, and I'm just going to get that on there, and I'm going to start by concealing any redness on my face, and if you're using um, a foundation, then you know, you don't need to do this because that'll take care of it, but since I'm not, I just go and I conceal redness around my nose. Now I take a fluffy brush, and ooh, this is the... Tapered Blending Brush E35. This is like the MAC 217. And it's just got like synthetic bristles. Just looks like that. And you just kind of dot that in there. And then you look down so you can really see where your dark circles are. And you just work this in using circular motions. I sort of just blend that out from there. I've kind of swirled it down a bit further than the under eyes. And just kind of use that to conceal any remaining redness. Now, and then I just set everything with powder and I'm using the Clinique um, Perfectly Real Compact Makeup. It's just like this and uh, it's broken. I know. Um, and I'm using a big powder brush. This is the large powder E20 from Sigma. Swirling that in there and then I'm just gonna start on the apples of my cheeks or on my cheeks. <laughs> On my chin, on the other cheek, my nose, just powder, and then lightly sweep under the eyes. It's good to wait for your concealer to sink in so you don't, you know, smush it away. Smush it, smooth it. My dog must have jumped on something. And don't forget to blend this into your neck. Alright, now we're going to zoom in and do the eyes, and then I'll finish off with the cheek and lips at the very end. Okay, so we're going to start off by priming our eyes, and I'm using this little Urban Decay Primer Potion that came with um, my Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I love Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need to buy a full size. We're just going to prime our lid, and this is just going to keep the shadows from creasing throughout the day. So now we're going to take the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I know that this is hard to get a hold of, so, um, you know, just use similar colors, and we're going to start off by taking this color right here. It's called Virgin and it's the lightest color in the palette. And it's just a satin finish, sort of pinky nude um, light color. I don't know, that's the best I can explain it. And it comes with a brush, the palette does. Um, it's just called their shadow brush. And this is actually a really nice brush, so I've been using it a lot. So we're just gonna get that on there, tap off any excess, and pat this all over the lid. It's really nice because it'll brighten your eye, but it still looks very natural. Now, taking just the outside of this brush, uh, we're going to take up this color Hustle, and it's the third to darkest. It's this really nice kind of plummy color, and I have green eyes, green hazel. I don't know, y'all are like, they change colors. I'm like, I know. Well, right now they're looking pretty green, so I'm going to intensify that green by adding a bit of this, you know, dark purple, um, but we're just going to do it very lightly to this outer corner. This will give us just a little more definition. So for those of you with green eyes, this will look really nice, and brown eyes as well. Um, and if you have blue eyes, it'll still look really pretty. It just won't do as much for you. Now we're going to add some real definition into the crease. We're going to take up uh, the color Naked, 
which is right here. It's just a matte kind of brown. It's a really pretty neutral color. And I'm going to take that on my uh, SS E20, or my blending E25. Sorry, I'm used to saying SS. Um, and this is, you know, this is the one I use for concealer, but it's just a different version of it. Um, get that in there. I love this brush. And you're just going to swirl that into the crease. And this is going to this is going to provide you that subtle definition. Alright, then we're going to go back in and I'm going to be using a little like flat angle, I don't know, it's called a flat definer, it's the E15. And we're going to pick up that Hustle, which is that dark purple we were using. And we're just going to smudge this into the lower, or into the upper lash line. And I'm not going to use eyeliner and I just wanted a little subtle definition up here. And it's going to kind of intensify the lashes make them look thicker and give a little bit of intensity to the outer corner. And I'm just kind of smudging it inwards a little bit. Alright, then on this short shader E20, and I love this brush for the lower lash line. It is fantastic. It's so tiny and dense that it works really well. We're going to pick up um, a bit more of that Hustle, which is that dark purple, in case anybody had forgotten. Top off any excess and really, really lightly smudge this into the um, outer like half of the lower lash line bring it in just a little bit. You don't want too much darkness on this um, lower lash line because that'll make it look a lot more dramatic. And we want it to be very wearable and very neutral. Then we're going to curl our lashes. And now we're going to tight line our eyes. And that's just lining this upper waterline. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 16 hour never, never fail eyeliner. And it's in black. And so we're just going to, I like to warm it up on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to line that. Make sure you line it all the way in, get this inner corner. Using my L'Oreal Voluminous, or Original Voluminous Mascara. This is in no means waterproof, but it's my favorite mascara, so we're going to be using that. And don't forget to apply a bit of that onto the lower lashes. And now we're just going to take a brown eyeliner, and this is the Milani Easy Liner for Eyes in Espresso. And I actually really like this eyeliner a lot. It's just kind of chocolatey brown. And we're going to just line the, like, outer half of our bottom waterline. Oh, and I almost forgot our highlight. I always forget the highlight. I don't know why. I'm going to use Max Mylar, and this is just a matte, flesh-toned eyeshadow. Any flesh-toned eyeshadow will suffice. And I'm going to be using the Large Fluff E50. that on there and pop that under the brow. So, those are the eyes. Now let's zoom out and we'll finish off the rest of the face. Okay, so now to finish off the face, ignore the background. Um, this is the only place I'm getting good lighting. It's late in the day. It is almost 8 o'clock. No, it is 8 o'clock. And I still have natural lighting, so that's really exciting, but not in my little corner that I normally film, so you're seeing, like, my room, my brother's half of the room. Um, getting my own room really excited, gonna have a vlog about it, but, um, let's get on to the face. We're gonna take the Girl Meets Pearl, excuse her, um, we're gonna take the Girl Meets Pearl by Benefits in this liquid highlighter, or, like, gel wind-up highlighter, I don't know. Take a little bit of that, and we're just gonna run this along the apples of our cheeks, or the our cheekbones. I get progressively less and less eloquent as the day goes on. And then we're going to add a bit of blush and my new favorite is Max Spring Sheen and this is just a beautiful little like pink with I don't know pink with gold reflux. It's such a pretty color and we're going to be taking this on a duo fiber brush. This is the duo fiber powder slash, slash blush brush F15. Get that on there. And we're just going to sweep this back. Alright, so now we're just going to finish off with lips. You could do whatever you want. This can go any way. You can go intense. You could go more natural. Whatever is your, you know, style. Um, but I'm just going to be doing a gloss. This is Max Cream Sheen Glass in Delight. And it's a beautiful color. I use this for prom. It's just a couple shades darker than my normal lip color, so it's super natural. But it gives you a little bit of gloss. That is the finished look. It's just very natural. It's you, but a little bit enhanced, and I think it's a great look for summer. It's just you with a little bit more. So for a date or for even a family get-together, it's not going to be over the top, and um, it just leaves you looking very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.